Hello there, Mark Cunningham here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can reconcile a pay run in the Australian version of Xero's demo company. Now, if you're using another country's version of Xero, you can still get plenty of value out of this lesson as it's pretty much the same process across all countries. Also, I'd like to point out that this lesson is part of a full course. So if you'd like to learn more about Xero, check out the description below. So if you go to payroll, and pay employees. Okay, so the first thing we'll do is we'll just post this draft pay run here in the demo company. So we'll click into it and we'll click on post. Okay, so once it's posted, just go into view reports and then go to the pay run journal. And what we're doing here is we're reconciling this bottom line here, the $4,862.25 that's gone to the liability account 804 wages payable payroll. So that's the total of the amount of money that we've actually paid our employees when we've gone ahead and posted the pay run, downloaded the ABA file and then uploaded it into our internet banking. So that's the total that will come through on our bank feed that we need to reconcile. So before we do the reconciliation, I'll just show you something else. If you duplicate the screen, and then you go into accounting and reports. In fact, we can go straight into this one here, account transactions. And then we'll just type in 804, which was the number of wages payable um, payroll, the liability account, check the box, and we'll just click on update. Okay, so there's a couple of transactions in there. So the one that we want is we want to reconcile this 486225. So what's going to happen is we're going to end up with a debit. We've got a credit at the moment and we're going to end up with a debit after we reconcile it. So we'll just leave that there for now. And we'll just come up and duplicate the screen again. And this time we'll go into bank accounts. Okay, so for this particular business, for the demo company, we're just assuming that we pay our wages out of the business bank account. And if this was hooked up to an automatic bank feed, then the bank transaction, the amount that we have on here, the 486225, that would just automatically come into the bank feed and then we could just reconcile it. But because this is the demo company and we don't have automatic bank feeds, I'm going to have to manually upload the transaction and then we can just reconcile it anyway. So we'll just click into it and then we'll just go to manage account and import a statement. Okay, and from here, we just want to download our CSV template and open it up. Okay, and in Excel here, I just want to um, go ahead and create the transaction. So I'll just type everything in here. Okay, so I've just typed in the particulars of the transaction. So we're just assuming that through our uh, online banking, we paid a total of 4862.25. So that's why it's a minus, it's an amount of money going out of the bank account. And the date there was the 15th of um, May. All right, so if I just save that, and then I go back into zero. So I'll just browse and select the file. Okay, so once I've selected the file, it's just come up with the name of it there. It's just that CSV file, and then I'll click on import. Okay, so we just get to this screen where it's just matching up um, the data to certain data fields, and that's all fine the way it is. So I can just click on save. Okay, so it just told me there that one statement line was imported and that none of them were duplicates. So that all went through just fine. So I'll just click on OK. Okay, so now I just need to go and actually find my bank transaction. So it was on the 15th of May, which is going to be on the next page. Okay, so if I just scroll down a bit, I should see it there. There it is, 15th of May. So that's the 486225 that we put in. All right, so like I said before, if you had automatic bank feeds going on for your um, bank account, then that would have just come through automatically. You wouldn't have had to do what I just did there with um, Excel and the CSV file. But if you don't have automatic bank feeds, then you do need to upload your transactions. 
All right, from here, what we need to do is just create a general ledger transaction. So I'll just type the details in and then I'll tell you what they are. Okay, so what I've done is I've just, for the who, I've just put in generated by zero payroll, which is actually the standard thing that you should put in. So make sure you put that in just like that. And then for the what, we need that 804 wages payable account. So that's the same account over there. We're doing the opposite side entry for it now. And then for the why, you can put whatever description you like in there. I've just put payroll 15th of May 21. And then down here, you just need to make sure you've got BAS excluded, selected um, for your tax rate there. Once that's in, you can click on OK to reconcile it. Okay, so that's done. And now if we come back to our account transactions report and we just run it again, You can see that now we have that generated by zero payroll um, entry that we just put in there. The spend money entry has come through on the 15th of May as a debit. It's offsetting that credit that was already in there that was posted by the pay run. It was posted by zero automatically when we did the pay run. So now those two transactions cancel each other out in the general ledger. So they are fully reconciled. Okay, so that's how you do it for the amount of money that you actually pay your employees, their salary and wage. And if we come back to the report, you've got your two other liability accounts there as well. You've got superannuation and you've got your pay as you go withholding tax payable. So you do a pretty similar process for both of those, except superannuation, you might pay that say once a quarter. So you'll end up um, doing that once a quarter rather than every single time you run the payroll. And then for your withholdings payable, you'll be doing that through your um, business activity statements and your installment activity statements. And it's a pretty similar process. So you just need to make sure whatever you've got there as credits, you have um, corresponding debits come through here after you reconcile them through your bank account. Okay, so that's how you reconcile your bank account transactions that come through your liability accounts. That's how you reconcile them through your bank account feeds in Zero. Okay, that's it for this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you'd like to see more free videos and also check out the links in the description below for our Zero courses. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.